welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome my name is Kay I'm a professional organizer and soprano here in Boston and I'm here to help you get motivated to have a more organized home today is day seven of our 30-day declutter challenge and today it's the bedside table now I know you guys have a bunch of stuff in on either on or in your bedside table because I know a lot of bedside tables have drawers ours do not I probably my, myself won't be decluttering a lot of stuff there because I, I just don't have a lot there, but I want to take you guys on a little tour of ours and declutter maybe a little bit from my bedside table and motivate you to do yours because the bedside table can get really, really crazy. Especially if your bedside table has a drawer, it can get like bananas really quickly. The stuff that's in your bedside table is stuff that you should reach for when you're in the bed. <laughs> so um, w w when, I, when it comes to me, that's basically stuff that I'm reading, games that I'm playing, um, headphones sometimes, earplugs. Um, actually, I'll just show you. Let's, let's, let's look. So if you haven't seen it, this is our bedroom. My husband and I live here together in Boston. This is our big old bed in our small room. This is my husband's side. We won't touch that because that's his business. But this is my bedside table. So as you can see, it's it's got a nice, it's mostly glass, so it doesn't have that much of a visual, it doesn't take that much visual space. Um, these bedside tables are from West Elm. They are called the Terrace Bedside Table, I believe. I will put a link down below. But, as you can see, I don't have very much on it, so you can't really clutter it up too bad, but we're gonna take a look inside and see if there's anything I can let go of. These are my AirPods, they're just charging. Don't, don't pay attention to them. I do have a little plug holder here on my bedside table that I put, it's a command thing. It just holds the plug so that it doesn't go everywhere. I got a little closer, you can see it there. You can see I can easily take the cord out as well if I need to, but it's up under there, perfect. You guys have probably seen him before, he's Sheldon. I don't like to sleep with my earrings in, so I take earrings out right before bed and sometimes I'm too lazy to put them away, so I just put them in Sheldon until I'm ready to use them again sometimes. I used to have a box here, but I didn't want, I didn't like the action of opening and closing the box to get the stuff. So I just have a little bin here as well. I have some hand lotion, sometimes I use it on my feet as well. I have a sleep mask in case there's any light in the room. I have these little, <laughs> moisturizing gloves, which I don't use often, but you know, sometimes you want a little hand moisturizing uh, action, you know. This, this is a cleaning cloth. It cleans, you know, screens and stuff, so I can use that on there. I actually took it out and put it in here yesterday uh, because of the magazine decluttering video, but it's gonna live here for now. Here are my headphones. I Sometimes I reach for these in the middle of the night if I'm having trouble sleeping and I just need to listen to some white noise, but I don't wanna wake up the husband. Uh, I put these in my ears and I sort of, it's a sleep, it's, I put the sleep cycle on. This is the little pouch for the headphones. Sometimes I put these in there if I don't wanna have them get tangled all over everything. So I'll put those back before I put, put them back inside this container here. Got my lip balms, cause you gotta have soft lips before bed. <laughs> and actually since I've started wearing Invisalign, which is why I'm talking funny, uh, my lips have gotten really dry. So I like to use the Jack Black lip balm. This is a shea butter, which is actually really nice. And I also have the mint, vanilla and mint, which is kind of tingly. I've got a little phone stand, it holds my phone. If I'm watching a video on my phone, I can just put that in there and I can watch it that way, or I can, whoa, <laughs> or I can do it this way. I've also got this little massager guy in case I'm having sore muscles. And last but not least, I have earplugs in case something is noisy and I need to sleep. So to be totally honest, this bin is all good for me. I just, you know, I just keep the stuff in there. Let me put these headphones back in there before I put this guy back. So everything in here is kind of a bedtime item and I think it looks really cute in this little bin. I got this bin from the container store. I think it only costs like $5. So it's so cute. It's like a little crate, like a little, isn't that cute? It's a little bit rustic, rustic chic because I have all of my fake peonies there, my little, little clock where I can see what time it is. I'm obsessed with clocks a little bit, especially if they have faces. I need to know what time it is in every room. Underneath here are just some magazines and a few uh, extra things I like. And I have some uh, journals and a book that my husband gave to me. It's called What I Love About You and it's really, really cute. And I have my Nintendo 3DS in case I wanna play games before bed. So I think the only thing I'd really be touching is this box. This is my sentimental box, which it means I have things that are non-functional, 
mainly, but they're just there for sentimental reasons. I believe I also have other things in this box, so I'm gonna go in and see what the deal is and see if I can get some of the volume down of this box. I'm afraid to see what's in here. I might have to edit this out. Oh, wow. Okay, so I definitely have some stuff that I need to move or I need to get rid of in here, it looks like. There's definitely a couple things I need to deal with in here. It's a cute little picture of my cats that I used to have. That's Minnie down at the bottom. Her name's Minuet, and that's Paddington. Uh, they are both, uh, they both crossed the Rainbow Bridge a few years ago, but they were such good friends, really cuddly, and played together, and I loved them a lot. They were so cute together. Okay, I definitely can't get rid of this. This is a sentimental thing, but this is a little frame with my, with the, with the kitten picture of my cat Paddington, as you can see. Uh, I loved Min too. I, I loved her a lot, but there was something really special about Paddington. He was the first pet I had as an adult, uh, and he was just really, really special. This kitten picture is incredibly cute, so this stays. Got a charger for my D, uh, my 3DS. So I don't know. I have 3DS stuff in another box, and I have another charger out here. So I'm gonna put this one with the other ones. This is something, this is Nintendo related as well. These are Nintendo DS games. So I need to put in, I have two copies of Electroplankton. Oh yeah, I do have two copies of Electroplankton. Um, one's missing the cartridge there. I know where the cartridges are. Okay, these are the, just the boxes. I don't know if these are worth anything because they're Nintendo, like DS games are not 3DS games. This was like a limited edition game that um, w is actually pretty cool. Nintendo's really weird about their intellectual property, so I may have to, this video again might get demonetized because of this, but I really wanna show you this. It's not a game. It's like a fun little, um, like basically a, like a meditation exercise. So this is Electroplankton. It's not even really a game. It's more of like a meditation. Um, so you have choices. You can play with like little plankton and it's basically a music making game, sort of. Let's see. Oh yeah, you can like, do that. <laughs> then you can like move that. I mean, I'm a really anxious person, and this <laughs> kind of helps me a little bit. Things like this really help me, which is why I have two copies of this game. Well, I have two copies of this game because someone gave me a copy, and then someone gave me a copy again. So, of course, I don't need two copies of this game, so I'm going to set one aside and maybe I'll sell it on eBay or something like that. I'm sure somebody would really appreciate it. It comes with everything, like the instruction manual and everything. So, I'm going... This, what is this, actually? Wow. This is a huge... Why is there such a long instruction booklet? Wow. This might be collectible, so I definitely am going to see what this is worth on eBay and uh, maybe give it a sell. There, I don't know what goes in this little container, but I mean, we're not gonna worry about it. Okay, this, this, th I'm not using this anymore, so I'm gonna go ahead and give this away. There are, there is some stuff here that is a sentimental stuff. So this is clover. <laughs> This is Clover's little coat that was given to us by the woman who raised him when we first got him. And of course, it doesn't fit him anymore because he was four months old then. But I am sort of attached to it because it's like, you know, like moms keep some baby clothes. This is like little puppy clothes. So I just have this and I'm going to hold on to it. This is the charger for the Game Boy. I'm sure it's going to go well in my little Game Boy collection there. I don't know why it's there. What's this? Oh, these are old business cards. I am going to have to, unfortunately, since I changed the name of my business, I'm going to have to destroy these and get new ones. So this little box is going to come out. I love these little boxes, by the way. I'm a little upset that Container Store discontinued these because I think they're so fun and cute. I have three of them. They're awesome, but whatever. I, I, thanks, Container Store! All right, what's left in here is just a bunch of stuffed animals. Uh, my husband gave me a Bulbasaur, and he also gave me an Eevee. And I don't want Clover 
to get these. So they're in here until I want to cuddle them. And I also have my old rabbit from when I was like four. Her name's Dee Dee. She's super old. I'm gonna, I am gonna have her in here. Um, this can come out. And this belonged to Paddington. I have a lot of Paddington stuff. This belonged to Paddington. This was his first toy. I used to call it Mr. Raccoon Man. And he loved it until the day he died. So I... I am sort of emotionally attached to this and I'm gonna keep it so these are this is all my um sentimental stuff and the rest of this business is basically my it's my um, all my diaries some of my diaries from childhood and mostly from college I used to write a lot I was a very prolific writer very brooding kind of person uh, <laughs> I you know I went through some dark times haven't we all but I was writing about really depressing stuff a lot, but I, I got through it. I, I don't want to put that stuff behind me. I, it's, it's part of who I am. So I like to go back and relive those memories every now and again. So that is that. I think as long as I keep this box sentimental items, I'm okay with keeping it here. I might need, oh, I'm going to use one of these boxes for Nintendo stuff. That's what I'll do. That's exactly what I'll do. Because one of those little magazine boxes was sort of empty. One of these magazine boxes is empty, so I'm going to put some Nintendo stuff in there because I was wondering where I was going to put that stuff. I'm going to keep one copy of Electroplankton and sell the other one, so I'm going to put that down here. And I'm not going to put my actual DS in here, but I will put the other charger in here. There. That's so happy. And I'll have to label the front of the box so I know what's in here because I get confused sometimes, so I'm going to label this. Okay, not that anything major happened, but I'm feeling much better about what's going on down in the bottom there. Now I know for sure, and I know where the Nintendo stuff is, which makes me really happy, actually. I definitely never grew up. I grew up playing video games, and I'm pretty much obsessed still at age 41, so that's a lifetime commitment I'm making. <laughs> Alright, so I'm on eBay, and it looks like some... Some electroplanktons are going for, you know, pretty good money. Probably not $85. I think that's crazy. But I think I can get some, you know, like a, you know, a couple of decent bucks out of electroplankton. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on eBay. Yay! And the bean is napping. He's going to play with his little new friend upstairs. And I'm going to get some footage and you guys are going to love it. All right, it's time to go have our doggy play date. I'm so excited. <laughs> forever and my heart is full because they live in our building and it's so cute when we separated them he did a little wine he did a little <laughs> so cute best friends forever my day is made i hope you guys enjoyed that little clover interlude uh if you guys like this video give it a big thumbs up if you want to see more videos from me please subscribe i publish three times a week although in august 
or vloggist, I am publishing every single day. So if you guys like home cleaning and home organizing and fun, cute dog videos, why not press the subscribe button? I hope you guys are having a great night or a great evening or a great morning or a great afternoon, wherever you are, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.